Okay, here we are for the unboxing of the over-the-air digital TV converter and DVR. Um, this is going to be interesting because I wanted to see if I... Obviously, you can record stuff with it if you put a USB flash drive in the front. But I was just willing to see how easy it was. And can you use those recordings, take them when they're on the flash drive, and put them on a computer? I saw them do it watching the video straight on the device. So does the device somehow encrypt it so you can only use it on the box? I hope not because this thing is useless if I can't use it on a computer. But, um... Oh, I ripped it. Oh, <laughs> how easy it is to do that. Yeah, um, I got a scissor. This is always a problem I have. Don't try to wreck it too much. Usually you can take it back if um, you at least keep it somewhat intact. But there is a lot of... There you go. There's a lot of problems that can happen if you um, don't. Open this up. Let's take this thing bad boy out. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. We got instructions. I don't know how far that's going to take you. <laughs> that's probably going to tell you just how basic controls of the box once you get into it. Then you got all the warranty. That's not a warranty yet. The warranty is on here. Followed by a, a e gift card of $5. Well, you know, you can get one. They won't even give you a coupon. That's cheap. Make you hold. Yeah, all right. How to view your recordings. Yeah, well, it's pretty easy. You should keep it, but. Pretty easy if you look at the remote. Oh, and you know what? A surprise. It comes with some composite cables. They're not the best ones. They're cheap and flimsy. But at least they come with some of them. Usually they don't include anything. Too bad they couldn't include a cheap flash drive with it too. But they probably made a deal with all the flash drive companies and stuff. It's not very long. But if you don't need a lot of space, you need a lot of space. I have a million of these things. But it's nice that they added that on. Then you've got... The um the batteries which are Bursto batteries. I like I love these shitty brand um brand name but well, they're not brand name batteries, they come along with items. They don't sell them by themselves. You'll never find this on Amazon or anything. <laughs> it's because it just comes with the item. You have the remote control, does it look cheap? You know what? This looks like almost of a replica of another you know, one I unboxed on my channel from Amazon that was for my Sylvania TV. Looks very similar to that. Obviously, doesn't have the same amount of buttons. Yeah, I hit the this tripod sucks. But um, this is what it looks like. It's not a very great remote. It's kind of flimsy, but at least it has the actual model number of this box on it and stuff. You take this off. Make sure there's no wasn't any previous batteries or corrosion inside. You never know if someone tried to use your item before you got it. Even though it's new, there's always that chance. Um. I'm going to put this back in here, put this to the side. Here is the main attraction. Take all the ties off. Now, why do I do this in the video? Because it just saves me a lot of time afterwards because of trying to get these off. Now, I could cut these off, but in the off chance that I have to box it back up, it's always good to keep the ties. Now, this thing, I've been looking for one of these boxes for a while. I remember one time I went to... I gave up on this almost entirely at one point. But you know what? This is another thing I know you might have... I'm going to talk about in a second. This is one thing that you might be able to do with this thing that you normally couldn't do. So let me get it out of the box. Here's the top. got to take this off so you can't read it right. It doesn't look as cheap as I thought, but it doesn't look great. You, um... Give you the examples here. You're going to put the digital antenna in here, and either it can go out into another digital antenna... I mean, analog antenna that will go into your CRT television or something like that. Or you can go through HDMI. Or you can go through the um, composites. Um, I guess, um, this, um, how do I put this? If you were to put a VCR going inside this device, you could probably output it from the RF. Or any of these. I don't know. It probably won't let you do that due to the fact that you could try to record with it. And this is not really an old model. December 21. It's about two years old. Then. I mean one years old this model. I don't know if it's capable of doing that. If you use a coaxial, put it through the front, and then out it through the back, would you be able to, um, would you, would a VCR instead of an antenna? I, I guess you could try. 
I don't know how that would go. Um, and I don't, not many people use a VCR anymore. So that's it. I mean, here's a look at it again. This is where you um, can change the channel. Um, so I guess, hey, you probably could use it as a VCR if you want to channel 3. And you could use the power and the... The only thing about that is you have to keep disconnecting everything every once in a while. But I don't think people really have a problem with that. Alright, well, that's it. And bye-bye.